How to Build Strength and Hope. My name is Jared Mello, and this is Mello Mentoring. Please do check out my book, Radical Self-Respect, Avoid Falling for the Same BS. It's out on Amazon now. And I've been working on the audiobook version for those of you who don't like to read, which I know is a bunch these days, but keep an eye out for that too. But in today's video, I'd like to talk about how I maintain and build my strength and hope. And one of the first things I have faith in every morning is my whole supplement routine. Because scientifically speaking, when I take my supplements, it absolutely helps me. And I take a bunch of different things, and each one of them I do need because I can absolutely tell the difference when I don't take them. I don't look at this in a negative way like a lot of people do. A lot of people think I don't want to be reliant on anything. I don't want to be dependent on anything. But that's not how I see it at all. I see it as I am extremely grateful there is a routine for me to take that makes me feel better, that makes me feel like a better version of myself. So I'm very grateful for this. And before I got on my supplement routine, I was probably way more spiritual in nature. And I'd be praying all the time in obsessive and compulsive ways, going to NA, being dependent upon the meetings and having to talk to my sponsor. And if I didn't work steps properly, I would beat myself up. But now I think I might rely on science a little bit more, but I still do rely on spirituality, as I'm about to explain. So what else do I do? I write down affirmations every morning of about three different things, 15 times that I want to ingrain in myself. And so one of them is, I love myself and I practice radical self-respect. I write that down 15 times a day. And then I write something like, I am a best-selling author 15 times a day. And then I write, I have irrational self-confidence 15 times a day. And th this is just my routine. There's something about writing it, reading it, seeing it, that it just implants it in my brain. And I have faith that when I do this, it works and it really helps me. That's another way I build strength and hope. Another way, I talk to people. I talk to people in my network about what's going on with me. And I try to keep it real because people can best help me and I can best help myself when I keep it real. When I don't keep it real, I'm sort of changing them and myself. And I can't see my own blind spots. So it's important for me to explain what's going on. And if anything, like I'll be conservative with who I share with, but the few people that I do share things with, I am open with. Because when I'm open, I'll either learn where I'm wrong, or where I'm right, or where I could be doing better. And I think all of these things are very important. Also, I put faith and strength in my exercise and workout routine. Because if I don't, I absolutely don't feel like the best version of myself. Exercise is humongous to me. Going on long walks and hikes in the woods, that's another huge one for me that I do. Uh, prayer, I still do pray. I feel like prayer works for me in ways that are similar to affirmations and listening to positive self-talk, but it absolutely does still work. Like I'll pray and I'll ask for guidance. I'll try to meditate in order to relieve stress, to calm down anxiety. And yoga, even something as basic as 30 Days with Adrian on YouTube here, which is pretty cool because she has 30 days of very beginner YouTube, or excuse me, with very beginner yoga. And it's awesome. She's really a good teacher. You can sense her spirituality with it. And she guides the way. And it's pretty awesome. It has a huge effect. What else? I don't go to church really anymore. And I don't do things like meetings, but I do think having communities is pretty important too. So whether it's a work community or maybe like a group that people belong to that they can have share a similar mindset with, I think that's one of the cool things that happens when people go and do martial arts, for example. They go to a jiu-jitsu gym or a Muay Thai gym or a boxing gym. It's a community of people that have similar similar goals, like they're trying to become better versions of themselves in a similar manner. And that's so important too. But these are the ways that I built hope for myself, and I try to build my strength of character. And every so often, I will allow myself to act out with some beer, and I'll watch some maybe some Pranos, and I'll just kind of tune out every so often. I don't need to do this nearly as much as I used to. But like, 
once or twice a month, I'll go and tune out a little bit and kind of let myself go into fantasy land once in a while. And I think it's therapeutic. It's therapeutic to do that every so often, as long as it's under control and as long as it's not dictating how we live. And I found that if I allow myself one of those days, or maybe a different kind of day where I can just sit there and do nothing without having to worry about work or getting things done, I become more productive on the other days of the week and the month. It seems to help. So to reiterate what, how I build my strength and hope, my supplement routine. I absolutely have faith that my supplement routine works. It helps me to be a better version of myself, a happier and healthier version of myself, where I'm more confident, more assertive, have better boundaries, and just overall, my well-being is better. I write down affirmations 15 times a day of things I want to cultivate within myself. And what I write, obviously you don't have to write the same things, but write things that you're trying to work on. And just the practice of sitting out there and doing it, it it's very similar to a meditation. I'll meditate. I'll go for long walks and hikes. I have my workout routine. I try to talk to friends on a regular basis about what's going on with me, keeping it real. And try to have a community of sorts, which is harder for a lot of us right now because we're all still in quarantine. So for some people, like their work is their community. Other times it's a self-help group. Other times it's their church. Other times it's a martial arts kind of gathering. But whatever it is, I think communities are pretty important right now. And even just going to on to other people's YouTube channels who have similar goals, similar mindsets. I think that's really cool. And at least we have this here. Zoom calls are available. It's awesome to have that too. So we can't neglect the things that we do in non-quarantine times, in quarantine times here. And there is opportunities here. There's more time to reach out to people that maybe we normally wouldn't. We have more time to do things in our day-to-day -day life we normally wouldn't. And I get it. Sometimes my morale can be a little lower because I'm not moving as much. And it becomes tougher to want to do the same things. It becomes tougher to want to work on myself. But... I really force myself to, and that that's the difference between motivation and drive. Motivation is a feeling. The drive is that burning desire, regardless of feeling, that we want to get things done. That's like the definition of courage. Courage is doing the right thing regardless of how we feel, and that's pretty important. And like I also try to help others in any way I can. And this is where I actually come into a a crossroads with the coaching stuff that I try to do because I think especially in regards to mental health, I can feel guilty asking for money in regards to mental health matters. As far as dating matters go, not as much, or just overall self-improvement matters, not as much. But like I like helping others because I still believe that I can't keep what I have unless I give it away. And there kind of is, there's a, there's something up with it. There's something that that belief kind of counteracts with my other beliefs. And so, like, I don't do too much coaching anymore, mostly because a lot of people don't do it. A lot of people just want help, but the second they, that you say that you want them to pay, they're no longer interested. So it's tough. So I give a lot of free information out here on YouTube, and it's one of my ways of giving back. This YouTube channel for me is kind of like a video diary where I kind of talk about what's really going on with me. I talk about where I am, what's going on. And I try to keep it real on here. I try to dig deeply and self-reflect about what's really going on in my life. That way I can help others to the best of my ability. But that's really it for today. Hopefully you've uh, been able to get something from this video. If you have any other ways of building strength and hope, please comment below. I'd love to hear what they are. There's plenty of things that I still don't know, and I'll be more than open to learning new things from my followers, and from anyone for that matter. So with that, thanks for watching. Over and out.